Hi! In this lecture, we'll start to get our hands dirty with jQuery. We're gonna build a very simple, so-called sticky navigation. And this is great to show you the very basics of jQuery. So I will start off by showing you what we want to achieve. So here in a normal state, we want the navigation to show uh, in a normal way. So here in the header. But then as we go down here, we then want this to happen. So we want our navigation to show up here with this little effect so that we can see the navigation always and not just when we're in the header. And then as we go back to the header, then the navigation disappears. So I'll show you again. So the navigation comes in once we get past the header. So we will use jQuery to add a class to the nav element every time we leave the header. So at this point here. So the first thing we need to do in order to do that is to actually format this navigation in the sticky state, let's say so. So this is the sticky navigation. So here is the nav element and this is where we will use jQuery to add the sticky class. So let's go to our CSS file and start by defining that class. So where is the navigation? Okay, here it is. So let me just put some comment here. So in fact, you're gonna learn some more CSS here. It's maybe more CSS than jQuery, but you know, we always use a mixture of both languages. So this is the main Navi. And down here, we will now do the sticky Navi. So just a simple class. And in fact, I will now, just for testing purposes, add this class here so that we can see what we're styling actually. And the first thing we need to do is define its position. So far we had absolute and relative positioning, right? And now you get to learn a new one, which is fixed. And with this property, the navigation stays always at the same point, irrespective of our scrolling. And we want this to start at the top and on the left corner. So the top left corner. So we have to define top zero and left zero. And we want it to be 100% wide. So as you saw in that uh, image I showed you before, we want it to occupy the whole browser width. And we want it to be white. So background color, color white, but with a little transparency so that we can see the content beneath it. I will start with zero, zero 098. This is almost no opacity. Now let's have a look at this. I have to open our live connection here. All right, this is how it looks like so far. And we can barely see these links here but they are there, but of course with the white color we defined before. And the logo is here, so everything is here, but now we need to style this. But in fact, it's now, it's already sticky, right? So let's change a couple of things here. And I will start off by changing those things here. So the first thing is we want to change some of these things. So I will copy everything and then delete things that I don't want. And now I have to say st sticky and here the same thing because I want these styles to apply only if this class is inside of the sticky class. Right? So this is then the sticky class and then we have the main nav inside of the sticky class. Alright, so the first thing 
we should definitely change is the color. Let's set it to 555, such as the rest of the web page. And we don't need any of this. And the padding, I will leave this for now. We can take a look at that later. All right, so this is now, at least it's visible now. And now we have a problem here with the image, with the logo, because this is the white logo and we want the black logo here. So what can we do about that? The simplest way would be to go back to the HTML file and include the black logo in the exact same place. And I will duplicate this line and I will explain you what I'm doing here in a second. So now I want this class to call logo black and this one will be the black logo. So let me see how this is called. So this is just logo. All right. So remember this is logo black. I need now to format that. Easiest way is to make Control F or Command F and then search for logo simply. And let me style logo black in the exact same way but with one difference. I want logo black to be hidden. And so I say display none. So this image will then be not displayed. So I incorporate it, but it is not visible in the normal state. And what I'm going to do now is to go back to our navigation and define that if the logo black is inside of the sticky navigation, then it should display as a block. So it will no longer be hidden. Let's see if this works. Okay, here it is. And now all we have to do is to hide the white logo, right? So again, now if the logo is inside of the sticky navigation, then this one will be hidden by saying display none. Pretty easy, right? So let's see how this works. And yeah, great. So what can we change now? Now we want to reduce this space here between, between all of this and make the image smaller so that we can reduce this. So let me see the original version. And okay, here we have it. So the margin top is 55 pixels, which is way too much. So I'm going to copy this again and just change what I want to change. And I will say maybe 15 pixels to start with. Okay, much better now. Yeah, this is much better. Now I also want to uh, decrease this logo here, right? Again, I'm going to search for it. Logo black. Okay, so actually we shouldn't put this here because those styles are very different. So let me define it like this. And here I will say 50 pixels should be enough. And here I want just five pixels to the top. So let me take a look at this. And here we go. So much smaller now. And now we maybe need some a margin to the bottom as well. And then what we want to change here is to make this little line here 
to be all the way down here to the to the white border to the border of this white container and then I also want some shadow here so that we can differentiate between this section and the rest of the website okay now three things to do so here I want the margin top and the margin bottom to be five so I just say margin and five and zero so as you remember this means five at the top and five at the bottom now let's go back to the navigation here all right and in order to increase the spacing between that orange line and the text of the navigation links is to increase this padding start by setting it to 15 pixels and now as I said I want some shadow here on this container so let's say box shadow and we already used that so it's zero on the X axis so in the horizontal then two pixels in the Y axis so in the vertical and I want two pixels blur and now the color again let's say we want a very subtle gray here so let's start with white here again and then use the color picker to choose something else this for instance all right so this looks good here the image now we need some more margin between this and the top in order to make it centered right so how do we do that we need some more margin here let's say 18 and then we can increase the padding here to let's say 16 now it's just you know testing how it works get rid of those blue boxes here all right I think that we already have here what we want and this is cool right so we have styled this whole thing and now we can use jQuery to have that effect that I described before and I will actually leave that for the next lecture so that you can take a break if you want and review the code that we've written so far so you can do that or you can just come with me and start to write some jQuery.